Welcome everybody, Jamison C. Montgomery. I have three things that you all can do to get rid of that eustachian tube dysfunction. Now, many of you are already finding out that getting rid of this condition is no easy walk in the park. It's gonna take a little bit more than just taking medication, unfortunately. It's something we're gonna to have to really convert our lifestyle just a little bit, not much, nothing to really shock you. So let's get right into it. So number one on that list is consuming more leafy greens. When I was dealing with this condition, it sounds very elementary, but I was going to an urgent care and one of the ladies there told me, you know, I wish we could really help you with this condition, but have you tried maybe just eating more leafy greens? I mean, it really helps you, it helps your body heal inside and out. And that sounds funny, but at the time I was not really eating leafy greens very often. I wasn't really consuming that kind of a diet. So if you're going to consume leafy greens, you're going to get all the benefits. Leafy greens contain something called nitrates. Nitrates are converted into nitric oxide, which is going to promote good blood circulation. And that's what we need with this condition. We're finding that not, not having that blood circulation is really preventing you from getting that healing, especially in the areas up here in your middle ear near your reach station tube. So leafy greens, we're talking your spinaches, your collard greens, your kale. These are gonna be very essential into healing. And number two on our list is you have to exercise pretty regularly. Now, you don't have to be a gym junkie or going six to seven times a week, but you have to take time to exercise your body. This promotes, again, good blood circulation. It's going to promote healing, and that's what we need to, to really get over this condition. So if you find yourself in slump, you feel pain, you feel anxiety, you don't feel motivated to get up and pick up a dumbbell or maybe go on a brisk walk or jog, you have to try to find your best way to implement a schedule that's going to be best for you because exercise is going to promote all the factors that I stated that's going to help you get over this condition. It's going to keep your muscles loose and that's what we need to get over having this tension in our jaw and this tension in our shoulders. Getting that blood circulation and getting that heart pumping is going to help increase endorphins and help you get over this condition because uh, I can't say enough how much this is going to help. So please take time out of your schedule and maybe just put 15, 20 minutes into exercising and you'll notice a huge difference. And last but not least, number three is something that's very dear to my heart, something that you guys have all heard me talk about, and that is red light therapy. Red light therapy has been such a game changer for me. It has helped target areas that no other thing could really target. Uh, obviously, if you're having issues with the middle ear, it's hard to target that area to decrease that inflammation. Of course, with diet and exercise, that's going to help uh, decrease that, that issue that you feel, the pressure that you have in your ear. But red light therapy has been a huge advancement. Uh, it's received a outpour of uh, acknowledgement in the good section, but then also it has the criticism for some of people who are not familiar with the type of healing that red light therapy can bring. It's going to direct the light into an area, again, that is extremely hard to target. So if you're staying consistent on red light therapy, you'll notice the benefits pretty quickly. I noticed them in about eight days, nine days, I started to really notice them. So implement this. I will be putting where you can get the device in the description. Um, if you haven't checked out some of my other videos and you're new to the channel, I have a whole Massive amount of videos to, uh, explaining red light therapy and how it can benefit you. So I hope this video was very helpful for you all. These three top things are going to help you get over this condition. I think I've said that like six times already, but uh, it's very important that we stick to a schedule. And of course, we want to modify things that's best for us as an individual. Uh, and just stay positive and focused because obviously ETD gets worse as you start to worry about it. So try your very best to stay positive, stay locked in, and I guarantee you'll start noticing some killing. All right, everybody, Jameson C. Montgomery. Take care. I'll talk to you soon.